Hello everyone, my name is Sizzle and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Minecraft update 1.19.3. This update has quite a few features that I am very interested in. If you have watched any of my YouTube shorts, then you know that I have been reviewing these snapshots as they have been released. So the first thing that I want to go over is the quality of life changes. So as you can see, the creative inventory has been changed up quite a bit in an amazing way. So everything looks incredibly well organized. This makes me so happy. The color blocks tab is one that I really enjoy because here we have, well, all of the color blocks. So we have all of the different colors of wool, the carpets, terracotta, concrete, concrete powder, stained glass, shulker boxes, beds, and it looks so beautiful to scroll through. So in this update, we have a change to the way the Vex mob looks. I reviewed this in a YouTube short, so this isn't going to be a first time reaction, but I'm just gonna say that I really enjoy the new look. I think it looks a lot better. A little smaller, a little, maybe a little cuter. Still really creepy, but I really like the new look. So next we have a change to the way the mob spawner looks. So if you remember the default mob that was placed in this, this was a pig, but now it has no default mob. You just place it and there's nothing in it. So to be clear, this is just for the creative inventory. This will not affect dungeons or anything but when you take the spawner out of the creative inventory, it won't have a default mob. So we can just put whatever we want in here. Spawn in some horses. So we do have new spawn eggs. We have an iron golem spawn egg, as well as a snow golem spawn egg. And I love this. Oh, I really didn't think that through. So I really like this. This is going to be really helpful for building maps or just building anything in creative in general. And you don't want to have to go and build an iron golem the regular way with a pumpkin and the four blocks of iron. It just takes a longer amount of time than it would to just use a spawn egg. And the same thing for the snow golem. You use two blocks of snow and a pumpkin head or you can just use Spawn Egg. Another interesting feature is that we have a new command to play with. So this command is slash, slash fill biome and some of these. And then we're just gonna put in these coordinates that it says, which is where we're at right now. So let's change it to a swamp. And as you can see, the water is changing color to the darker swamp color. So if we get in here, it'll just keep changing darker and darker. And you can play with the coordinates on this and decide how far you want the biome to stretch. I haven't really had time to mess around with this feature a lot, but you can definitely do some really cool things with it. I could definitely see this being very helpful for builders. This update was a really interesting one and has made some very good improvements to Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. On the screen right now, you should see a link to a video of me reviewing a previous Minecraft snapshot. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give it a click. I'll see you there.